What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you three ways on how you can count the characters found in a string or in a file in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. All right, so for counting characters today, we are working with these two variables that we've set up. Now, the first one is the longest English word that I can find, and I'm not even gonna to try to pronounce that because yeah, I'll fail miserably. The second one is essentially just a sentence that I just made up about counting characters. Um, and the first method I wanna talk about is actually just leveraging what function is out there within the string class. Because technically to count a, you know, a character or whether it be from a file or from a string, you actually need to get that, you know, if it's a file, you need to get into a string format. And that's kind of what I would say would probably be the easiest way um, that you can leverage counting characters. Um, whether it be from that file or like I mentioned a string. And so to do this, this first method is is just saying, let's print this out and we're gonna say the longest English word dot and then they have a count function. Um, however, this count function takes, requires that you to put in like, hey, what do you wanna count? So like, let's just put in A, the character A. So if I wanna count the character A, I just put that in. If you want, you can say with what range, like if you, you can you know do indexes like one and you know two or three or whatever. But if you do nothing, it'll just do like through the whole, you know, through that whole string um, that you've given it. Now, if I do this both for sentence and the variable sentence or the variable longest word, English word, and I run this with how to count characters, you'll see that the first one has two, which is right there, oh, right there, and then right there, and the next one is R, characters has two, and then what? But like this method right here requires you to know what characters you're trying to count. Now, if you know is specifically what characters you're trying to count, this is pretty easy. But what if I could show you a way that you could loop through each one of these strings, grab out what characters are in it, as well as their accounts, and, and display that to the user. Well, let's hop right in and start talking about that method right now. So for method number two, I'm gonna leverage the knowledge that I know a string um, is, can be iterated through. And so what I mean by that is essentially, if I just go here and I say, I do a for loop, and I say for char in, and we'll just do the longest, oops, longest English word, and I say print this out. Um, what you should see is this will print out the character counts from sentence and long word with the values of A, as well as a bunch of lines, and then every single character so if I run that you'll just see like there's our you know there's our method number one counts and then look we just went through and print out every single character now leveraging this knowledge what I can essentially do is I can set up a dictionary so I can say a char dictionary is equal to and I can say if char is not in not in char Dict, then I can just say um, char dict of the, the character is equal to zero. So now what this is doing is essentially I'm just saying, hey, if, it, if that character has not been found in the dictionary that I'm going as I'm going through this string, you know, just mark that reference, like in, basically instantiate that that character, that key has a value of zero. And then what I can just do is go um, inside, we can reference that, that dictionary and I can say with that, that character and just say plus equals, whoops, plus equals one. Now what this will do is like on the first pass, it'll say, it'll set it to zero and then just come at right down here and automatically assign it to one. Um, and I'm doing this because I don't want to set it here and then set it to one and then have to handle with any other cases. I'm basically just saying like, look, just set it to zero and then I'll just exit out of that if statement and then just set the value to one. Um, and so now the next time it comes to it, if it sees it inside this dictionary, it won't even like look at that and it'll just go here and add, you know, insert the, the count by one. So now if I print this out, I can essentially just print out the, the dictionary. And what you should see is, look, every single character that is found within the longest English word string has a character as well as its count. So like you see capital P has one, lowercase n is four, and all the way through this. Now that's, you know, that's a really easy way that you can go through and count through a string. Now, if we could test this at the same the same methodology out by just switching out the longest English word for set that our sentence that, that we have. So say this is your file that you've just downloaded and you've gotten to a string format and you do this. If I run this, look, I can go through and I can say, look, there's T's. Look, we have a space, a single space character has shown up 12 times um, within this string. So all those different types of things you'll see or like using kind of this method number two, kind of like the more of the naive approach. Now, I'm gonna show you basically in one line um, how you can get this same count 
in our following method. So stick around for method number three. Okay, so before we jump to number th method number three, where I'm gonna show you basically like one or two lines how you can do exactly what we did here. Um, I added this from a previous video that I did where I talked about essentially how to count, find the most common words. I added this um, function that we use to sort a dictionary based upon its value um, and put it into a list format. So you, when, if I run this, you'll see now when I'm printing this out rather than that dictionary, I'm getting in sorted order with the very you know most occurring um, character I'm getting that first with you know it's a tuple with its character and the count now I just want to show you because I want to use this same technique to essentially show you when we go to method number three that we're getting the same results through method number two and method number three so to do method number three you need to basically come up here and import from collections counter now this is an included um, Python library so you don't need to go do like pip install or any of that you just need to say from collections import counter now what I can do is I can essentially say print and I can say um, counter. And the thing about counter is, is you just need to pass it something that isn't iterable or that you can iterate through. And well, we know that a string is something that you can iterate through based off you know what we did up here. So all I have to do is I can just say, if we do like what we were doing with sentence, I can just pass that in sentence. And now first off, if I run this, what are we gonna get? Now, if I just run this right away, you'll see, and let me just do this print character here, um, right at the end of this, so that you can see the difference. So you'll see, here's method number two, and method number two gives us this counter object, but already out of the gate, it gives us a similar dictionary to what we had before in a sorted order. So what we can do is if we wanted to make it look exactly like um, our list, we can essentially do one more thing called most common um, and if I run this this is going to give us a list that looks oddly familiar to that of what we did um, with method number two and this sort of thing or this this sort of you know dictionary now these two I can tell you right off the bat is are the exact same the only difference is is for um, the counter the counter class when it does its most common sort it sorts things a little bit differently if you wanted them to be the exact same um, we could just copy this and do say method three and all I would have to do is just change um, this right here and there you go they now are now the exact same that we had from method number two or excuse me let me print this out here and now you can see they're the exact same that we had before um, from method number two to method number three so right there there's three different methods that you can use again going back we are going to leverage the count where if you just need to count a single character if you know the characters you need to count you can just go count them right there if you need to go through each one and find all the characters you can um, in a string or in a file or whatever you're trying to count characters from um, you can leverage the method number two where it's just kind of like I would say more of the beginner more naive approach where you're just looping through and using a dictionary otherwise if you know some of the Python packages which like I just showed you right now you can do in one line you can get the counted characters for every single character inside of that you know string that we did um, and if you want to learn more you can check out kind of my my other previous video that I just did where I learned how you can find the most common words because that is kind of leverages what we did here and I hope that helps you and until next time keep on programming